Hello again, everyone. Today is day 15 in the Diamine Inkvent calendar swatching, and today's ink is Nightshade, which looks like another blue ink. I know that some people have uh, lamented the amount of blue inks, but nonetheless, this looks like a blue ink, and it is a standard. So let's go ahead and get in here. I shouldn't need to shake it because it's standard, but... Um, but I do like to agitate it a little bit just in case there's anything that could settle in there. So let's get in here with this Timoya River notebook. And you can always check out day one to see how um, I'm formatting these swatches here. And let's see, so we're gonna go first with the automatic pen. Yeah, definitely a blue. <laughs> I mean, all the blues have been different, but um, it's definitely a blue. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and rinse that off because it doesn't seem to be a super staining ink and it seems to rinse off pretty easily. So let's just go ahead and rinse that off and then move on to the glass dip pen for this Timoy River notebook. And then we'll move on to the Cosmo Airlight paper. Diamine. And this is called what again? It is Night Shade. That's pretty. I would call that um, maybe an indigo type ink. I have. Um, some inks that look like that that are called indigo, but uh, now that I'm looking at it as it's drying, it looks like it has sort of like a pinkish undertone here in the bigger swatch. You can't see that in the writing, but it's pretty. All right, let's go on to the Cosmo Air Light paper. See how it looks on there. I feel like the Red Robin ink from yesterday was very different on the Cosmo Air Light paper versus the um, the Tamoya River paper. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely pretty. It's almost like a grayish blue. Okay, I am rinsing off and drying off that automatic pen. And then let's move on to the glass dip pen. Okay. Move it that way so you can see that. Day 15, Nightshade. All right. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a staining ink at all. It's coming off very easily on all of the tools. I'm gonna close up that ink so we don't spill it. And then let's take a look at this. In this light, it's a fairly dark day today. It's supposed to rain and very high winds and all kinds of dramatic weather. So it's a little darker than normal in here, but I will turn on the overhead light after I've brought out the Timoya River again. Yeah, again, I'm seeing, at least in this light, I'm seeing just like a little bit of a pink undertone here. Um, and it's not the first time that I've uh, had a blue ink that sort of had a pinkish undertone. Okay. Let's go back to this Timoy River notebook. This is actually completely dried. Um, you can see that pink undertone even more here. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn on the overhead light, which I have to reach up to get. All right. So there you go. 
nightshade. Actually, in this light, you can see it's almost it's almost like a lavender shade in in the full light. Um, due to that little bit of pink in there, I think it's pretty. All right, so that's the Tamoya River, and then here is the Cosmo Air Light. It does seem again to look a little different. It looks definitely looks darker on the Cosmo Air Light paper, I think, and maybe a little bit more shading in the writing, but that could also be because this is you know, block lettering as opposed to cursive. Um, yeah, and you can definitely see those colors. So yeah, as it develops, it definitely seems to be more dynamic of a color. So this isn't just Joe Blow Blue here. This is, <laughs> this is more like a lavendery blue with some interesting undertones there. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. Please join me tomorrow for day 16. We're past the halfway point now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe to keep track of future videos on my channel. And I hope to see you next time. But in the meantime, have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.